Let's go to Idle Hands. 1999, the year of our Lord. Uh, that's a this this movie came out for us. This was for us. We were teenagers. Oh, 1999. Yep. We were teenagers. This was for us. Uh, <clears throat> teenage slacker's right hand becomes possessed with a murderous intent. Directed by Rodman Flinder, who did Leprechaun 2. Written by Terry Hughes Burton and Ron Milbauer. Cast highlights, a lot of lot of stars as a star-studded event. You got Devin Sawa, Seth, Seth Green, Jessica Alba, Vivica A. Fox, Fred Willard, Timothy Stack, Kyle Gass, and The Offspring. Uh, in one of their, probably in their well, own... Good cast. Yeah. I, I like, like the cast. I like it a lot. I uh, think... Uh, uh, and even pointed out that they did a good job with the, the cast. Yeah, and the one guy, uh, I didn't mention <clears> him. <throat> What's his name? I don't know if I wrote uh, Eldon Henson. He uh, he plays Seth Green's friend, their, you know, his buddy. He was in um, Mighty Ducks, yep. if you remember. Yeah, oh yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, I watched that movie so many times. <laughs> um, Mighty Ducks 2. I thought that the score was pretty good. It was done by Graham Ravel, who... Done, he did the crow, the craft, Bride of Chucky, Freddy vs. Jason, all the score stuff. The sound, Howard the Duck. Did he do Howard the Duck? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> the soundtrack uh, is short circuit. Oh, has a lot of late '90s hard rock, uh, like most of the horror movies that came out at this time. Uh, I I love I love Devin Sawa's pipe. He has this weed pipe. <laughs> Whoa, uh, whoa, Frank. No, not his pipe. Keep it clean. But his pipe. Holy he has this little smokes. asthma inhaler pipe. It's, uh, <laughs> it's sexy. Oh, my. <laughs> he's got a sexy pipe. Uh, no, but se- it's a uh, pipe. Yeah, he's got a little inhaler. Yeah, a weed pipe. It looks like, a, uh, like an asthma inhaler. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Seth Green was 25 when this movie came out. And Eldon Henson was 22. Devin Sawa was 21, and Jessica Alba was 18. Okay. I was just pointing out that Seth Green was 25, <laughs> playing a, t- a teenager that was going to a dance. Um, uh, I thought one of the cops was uh, McPoyle. W- uh, you know, a McPoyle from It's Always Sunny. Uh, but yeah, they they both had, they had that vibe to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Is one of them from The weird thing sunny? is, I thought it was the one of the main two. Yeah. It's not, though. That guy is played by uh, That's, Nate Nate Mooney. This guy's name is Sean Whalen. This guy was in People Under the Stairs. Uh, 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 how do you like that movie? Uh, it's been a while. I'd have to rewatch yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. I almost <laughs> almost bought it the other day. Yeah, I think I I, I think I want to rewatch it. But uh, but the funny thing is, this guy did play a McFoyle. Uh, he played a, in one episode. He played a, li- a lion McPoyle. Um, oh, a family rem- a family member. Yeah, <laughs> it was. So, but, was it during that that zombie uh, episode? Have you seen that one? Uh, no, okay, I've seen they all that turn one. Turned into zombies the, like at a church or something. Yeah, I've seen That's that a crazy one. Crazy episode. The episode this guy's in is the one they're in a courtroom Getting and side uh, they're in a courtroom and they have all the McPoyles in there, like all the family members. He's the one yeah. sitting next to the one sister. Okay. But the thing is, these two motherfuckers, I've been confusing them as long as I've known who they are. Because I oh, I thought they were the same guy, basically. But there's two people. <laughs> they just look a lot alike. Um, <clears throat> did you notice uh, the dog boner in this movie? No. At all. It, it's when he's pushing the dog. <laughs> it's it's right in the, in the screen, man. He pushes the dog out in the hallway. And the dog's sitting on his ass. Huh. He's got a fucking red rocket, man. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> One of my kids caught a flower. Why is this flower out? <laughs> I can see that. Um, I think the best part of this movie, uh, Seth Green and Eldon Henson as the undead uh, idiots. I mean, they're, this is how stoned out the people that made this movie were. Their names are Mick and Penub. The reason they're named that is because when they were writing this movie, they were watching Eddie Murphy do buckwheat on SNL. Mick and Penub sounds like that. That's what IMDb trivia said. That's where their names came from. 
So take that home. <laughs> um, uh, pretty great effects for 1999, honestly. Uh, I think uh, Devin Sawa does a great job of acting against his hand. I thought it was awesome. Like, it was... That's a hard thing to do, I assume, to act like your hand's possessed. And he really... Whenever he throws the cat, I laughed so <laughs> fucking hard. Because yeah. he's just like, shunk! <laughs> uh, oh, how he many times it. I wanted to do that. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Throws it right out the window. Uh, I do take issue with the fact that this dude uh, literally just discovered that he murdered both of his parents. Uh, and then kills both of his friends. And then is still in the mind frame to be like, well, I mean, Jessica Alba is tr going to fuck me if I stay here. Like that, would you be able to do that? I don't even think anything would work at that point. I'd be like, oh, well, fuck. I mean, he didn't do it. His <laughs> aunt did it. <laughs> but he's still dealing with seeing everything, you know, well, seeing his parents dead. What's done is done. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Fucking. I don't know. Uh, the character, uh, Randy in this movie, uh, <laughs> he is, he's like a great value Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. John, John, John Bobby. Bon 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 That's what he is. <laughs> he looks just like John Bon Jovi. He was in a Bon Jovi music video, but I, I, which is crazy to me. Was he playing Bon Jovi? I don't understand it. Um, they all, that's, that's the look they had. Everything... It's a good-looking uh, guy. He looked like that guy? Um, I think the grossest thing... There's a lot of gross stuff that happens in this movie, but the grossest thing that in the movie is when the dude's eating a burrito and it gushes out of his gushes. severed <laughs> severed head. Like, he has his head... Severed the the Penub guy has his head severed, and then Seth Green puts it on a what a barbecue fork, yeah, but yeah, and then sticks it into his neck, so it's like kind of there. He eats a burrito and it gushes <laughs> out of that fucking yeah. crease. Oh, it's so gross. Um, and I totally fucking forgot uh, that whenever that the, the hand gets in a the, he cuts his hand, demon hand off, it gets in a puppet. And Devin Sawa blows weed smoke into that puppet, and then its eyes get red, and it has a dumb look on its face. It's the it's. The, I thought it was a great way to end it, but uh, yeah, I gave this movie an eight out of ten. I think it's a good Halloween movie to watch. Uh, if you watch this with like Deathgasm or something, I mean, that's a good double feature. That's some fun stuff. Yep, I'm with you. I gave it an eight as well. It's it's good. It's fun. It's there's several funny parts in this movie. Um, good, good to watch around uh, Halloween. Keep that in rotation. I give it an eight. Well.